We are here in uh, Mbarara, Uganda, that's in East Africa. And it's Sunday night, and this is the final meeting, Sunday afternoon actually, final meeting. And we have had a wonderful time here in this highland, beautifully green place, as God has moved in a wonderful, wonderful way. We have been challenged, mind you, by rain of, of the 10 public meetings that we do in a crusade like this. Uh, four of them have been totally disturbed by rain, yet, despite that fact, the people have been so hungry and so drawn to the dynamic of the gospel that the meetings have, be have become bigger and bigger and bigger. In one particular meeting, it rained right as Daniel Kalenda began to preach. But I tell you, with just a small crowd of people huddling in the rain, the rain began to uh, slow down and dry up and go away. And by the end of his message, the crowd had grown five times in size. And when the gospel message and appeal was given, people just streamed and raised their hands and received Jesus as their Savior. And night by night it has grown. Behind me is a huge crowd of people. Even the, the First Lady of the Nation is here and she's just given her greeting to the crowd. And there's just a wonderful dynamic here of the power of the Gospel. And not only have people been saved, but we've been seeing mighty healings in Jesus' name. Too many to mention. You'll read them in our reports. But one woman, a witch doctor, her child had a, an an emission of, uh, of pus from the ear for years and right here in this crusade God healed the child totally she stood on this platform and said I give my life to Jesus Christ so we are rejoicing we are praising God for all that he's done I've just been talking to some of the pastors of the 40 churches that are supporting this crusade and participating and they are telling me that this morning their churches were flooded with new converts and the follow-up has not even begun so we praise God for the opportunity to be here despite the weather. I tell you, God is at work, Jesus is alive, and Imbarara will never be the same again. And thank you for making it possible as you stood with us and do stand with us in prayer and support. God bless you, and we love you.